Good morning, everyone. Today is March 19th, 2020. As you can see from the clock behind me, it is about 8 a.m. Eastern time. I'm doing this video from Florida, um, Tampa Bay area. And this will be about the coronavirus and how Florida will be the catalyst to start the complete outbreak of the coronavirus. And it's, uh, it's not a happy thing to say, but, uh, or popular thing to say, but this is what, it is what it is. So, just to give people a little, a uh, bit of a, I guess, a history about uh, Tampa Bay. So Tampa Bay, um, the population, and what that includes is that includes Tampa, um, Clearwater, St. Petersburg, and um, Riverview, Brandon. I mean, these are places that surround the, you know, what they call the Tampa Bay. So some people say, you know, Tampa area, or they talk about St. Petersburg. Um, so you have Tampa, the city, which is more inland from the west coast of Florida. Uh, and then you have St. Petersburg, which is actually a peninsula, um, which is where all the beaches are for people that say, I live in Tampa and, and that sort of thing. Now, there's a ton of people that live in St. Petersburg also. It's a peninsula, but it's huge, and it's the most densely populated place, I think, in all of Florida. So the numbers are, um, I looked them up this morning, 2.78 million people in the Tampa Bay area. So close to 3 million people. Now, here's why Florida, here's why um, the Tampa Bay area, especially St. Petersburg, will be the catalyst to spreading the coronavirus. Uh, throughout the country. Now, this will be two weeks from now, the change will completely happen. Now, I say Tampa Bay. I meant Florida will be the catalyst. So here's the thing. So I, about three days a week, I go to the sunset. Uh, right now, you know, it's past daylight savings time. So I go about five o'clock and stay till about eight o'clock, maybe, possibly. Um, sunsets are around 7.30. They last a long time after they set. So it's not completely dark, and even if it is, it has kind of an uh, orange haze over it. Sometimes I go a little bit earlier. Sometimes I go a little bit later, but I'm usually there around, you know, at sunset at 7.30. So um, today's Thursday, the 19th. I was just there two days ago, Tuesday, the 17th, which was St. Patrick's Day. Um, and the beach where I go to is called St. Pete Beach. Now, I used to live on that beach last year. And, um, you know, so the population um, during the winter, we have a lot of Canadians that go there. We have a lot of people from the north, um, northeast. We have a lot of people from uh, the Midwest, um, you know, Chicago area, all, the, all these different places. But... During these weeks, especially because I have a son who's in college, so this is spring break week. Now, most of the colleges are still postponed. Once they get back from spring break, they have a week off of classes at home. Uh, some people say that work for colleges that they're going to have the rest of the semester off, meaning they're going to do their work online. Not off, but they're, your classes are going to move from classroom to online classes and you're gonna to have to stay home. But here's the kicker. So I'm at the beach for sunset. I get there about five o'clock and I see there had to be 100,000 kids um, and families and so forth, but a lot of college kids on the beach. Beach was packed. Now this beach that I go to, I think it's probably three, three to five mile stretch, let's say. Um, the whole place was packed. So I just look at it and I say, man, there has to be 100,000 people. I have no idea what the numbers are, but definitely that amount of people. Then you have um, those same kids going to the beach, partying, sleeping in hotels, probably, you know, two to a bed. You know, you get a hotel room as a 21-year-old. You have two beds, you know, four people, five, six people will stay in that room, maybe on a cot. Maybe this guy, you know, with his girlfriend and this, you know, all that kid stuff that's going on. Um, 
these people are not staying indoors. They're going to bars at night. They're going to restaurants. They're going to the beach, hugging, kissing, the whole thing, jumping around in the water. This is one beach in Florida, one. And a lot of people haven't even heard of St. Pete Beach. I don't think it's the, you know, it's not the capital of spring break. So we still have uh, Panama City, Daytona, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, um, Clearwater Beach, which is about, I think it's about, well, let's just say 10 to 15 miles from St. Pete Beach, which I just heard on the uh, radio. Well, I actually talked to somebody, but I heard on the radio this morning to make it official that they're closing down Clearwater Beach on Monday, which, you know, so th these people are still going to have four or five days to hang out at the beach and go to the bars and go to the restaurants and so forth. So we're talking about two beaches that I see out of thousands of beaches in Florida. And like I said, there must be 100,000 kids running around in St. Pete Beach. There's probably 100,000 running around in Clearwater, 100,000 in Miami, 100,000 in Daytona, 100,000 in Panama City, uh, Jacksonville beaches. I mean, you have beaches everywhere. So this is why Florida is going to be the catalyst of the coronavirus, because as soon as it spreads within this young population, and I overheard kids talking on the beach. Where do you, you know, because what happens is there's a group of guys drinking beers, having fun, and then other guys were like, hey, where do you go to school? What do you, you know, where are you staying? What hotel? Oh, that's cool. You going to this bar? You know, these type of conversations. I overheard this group. Uh, they are from University of Indiana. Um, then another group was from Michigan. Then you had kids. I mean, you had kids from everywhere. You know, I, I don't have to walk up and down the beach and ask all these kids what college they go to. They're from all over the place. And so they're going. And, and another thing is they live all over the place. So you might go to University of Indiana, but you live uh, or Indiana University, but you live in uh, California or you live in Michigan or you live in Arizona, wherever, Colorado, uh, New York. Once these kids and families, because there was some families there with young, you know, five-year-olds and all that stuff, there's, there was, there, of course, there's foreigners. Um, you see a lot of people, you hear different languages when you're, when you're there. So I sit on the beach for two, three hours and, you know, I'm watching the water, watching the sunset, listening to different people, walk by, conversations. But like I said, I just happened, I mean, there were so many college kids, I just happened to be sitting near uh, a bunch of them, you know, groups of guys, groups of girls, groups of mixed, you know, girls and guys. Um, and so once they go back to their hometowns, um, the spider web will explode. So my prediction is two weeks from now, you're going to see a complete jump in the amount of coronavirus uh, victims, I guess you would say. And the way that it's going to, you know, it's going to start is that, you know, the, especially from f places like Florida. Now, of course, you have spring break places, you know, I'm sure you have, I know Florida is a hotbed for spring break, um, but you also have, I'm sure, Texas and uh, Arizona, California, um, anything that has to do with water. I mean, you have the Carolinas, I'm sure is a big, you know, South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. I, you know, these are places that are probably big for spring break. Uh, but Florida, I would assume, is number one in the country, just like we're number one for elderly people. There's 22 million people in Florida. 2.78 million in the Tampa Bay area. You have millions of people. Tampa Bay, I think, is the third largest city, or, you know, Tampa, the third largest city in Florida, but like I said, you have the Bay Area, so that includes St. Petersburg, Clearwater, and Tampa, and Tampa's surrounding areas. It's a big place. You know, when I go, I told you I used to live at the beach. Now I live an hour from the beach. I live in the Tampa suburbs, but I'm moving back towards the beach, so I'll, I'm, you know, but we'll get onto that at another time. But this is the amount of people, and this is how fast it's going to spread. The reason why I say two weeks is because they say it takes about five days for you to notice any symptoms. Well, let's just say that this virus is going around these spring break places and all these people are catching it. So they go back five days. They give it to two other people, you know, in their household, 
their friends, their friends' parents, whatever, you know, because kids can't sit still. They go over people's houses, they go to restaurants. I mean, they're all going out. I overheard a bunch of them. They're not sitting around. Um, and the places are not closed as of now. So now you have, it, it's just, it's going to spread like wildfire. And that's how you're going to have people throughout the country. You're going to think, well, where did this come from? I'm from a small town, you know, in Idaho or Iowa. And how did this get here? Well, that's how it's going to get there. It's going to happen from Florida. That's going to be the number one place to spread this. Uh, People had said, you know, what's wrong with the governor? Well, the problem is this section of time Spring break, I can't imagine the amount of money that goes through. You have hotels, bars, restaurants, people that are working, the velocity of their money. I mean, you have Uber drivers. Uh, I mean, just think about it. You know, you have um, everything that has to do with vacation. You have Airbnbs. You have um, ice cream places, um, food places. Um, then you have the, like those banana boats and jet skis and boat rentals and party boats and I mean the the amount of money that comes in to Florida during this time is astronomical. I haven't looked up the numbers, but you can just imagine. You know, in in the summer it's super hot down here, so a lot of people leave and you know it dies down and and these business owners basically make their money from October until April maybe the end of April at the latest. That's where their bulk of their money. Well, we're right in there, especially during spring break. I haven't seen it that packed. I don't even think it was that crowded last year. So this is where it's going to spread. And I would say two weeks from now is going to be the biggest catapult. So, you know, I know the White House is trying to get out testing and trying to, you know, get out respirators and so forth. My advice would be to really start thinking about hunkering down now. Um, I did a video on getting your medicines, you know, three months supply of medicines. They should be going out like wildfire, especially to people that are on Medicare and, and, you know, anybody that takes their prescription should get a three month supply starting now because this is going to be a rough three months. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. Uh, Any information, please leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you at the next video.